I was going guys as an air back out with another video in this video i want to talk about the expectation what should be expected from the upcoming nvidia geforce gtx 1050 by its rumored specification so let this be a video on, on its uh, overview of the rumored specifications expected benchmarks at 1080p so this card's uh, uh, release date have not yet been released it's just saying that it's going to be released on third quarter of 2016 and Yet another lot of rumors. It's also saying that it's going to replace the 3 gigabyte model of the GTX 1060 as the name GTX 1050. So coming to a specification, it's rocking a GP1066 nanometer FinFET processor with 1024 CUDA cores, 64 texture units, and 32 ROPs. Now clock speed is rocking 1000 megahertz of base clock, 1100 megahertz of boost clock, and 7000 megahertz of memory clock that are effective and it's got two teraflops of compute power now the clock speed are a bit ama uh, like a bit to be shocked when considering the other pascal gpus at least they were having 1600 megahertz plus boost clock but this one it's only 1100 megahertz of boost clock so that can be known from the price point and the price point is not yet even released and it's got two teraflops of compute power now the memory it's rocking a 4 gigabyte gddr5 it's uh, rocking a 128 bit bus and 112 gigabit per second of memory bandwidth that's all the specifications and the specifications are from videocards.com if you want to link in the description below nothing else no price no release date nothing and the specification itself can change and now the expected benchmarks from at 1080p is well it is definitely going to be a 1080p or 720p card it's obviously going to be a 1080p card i reckon probably set the game to high settings and you can get 50 fps well when we consider the rx 460 it's been released and it's priced at 110 to 130 dollars depending on the custom gpus it was actually a 1080p card i think it was actually a pretty decent card for the price point it was neck and neck with the gtx 970 we have lots of benchmarks on the rx 460 if you want i can uh, link that in the description below too it was actually neck and neck with the GTX 970, maybe more, maybe less. Well, for the price point, the main thing is the price point for $130, you have a GPU that is equal to a GTX 970. Uh, so, as again, the benchmarks might be uh, Ultra at 1080p, 50 to 60 or 50 to 40 FPS. Probably that because it's a Pascal GPU and it's going to be pretty good. Anyway guys, that's for this. Definitely be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.